I hope you're having a great day in the life. I am out today to do a little metal detecting, a little adventuring out on the water. Hopefully we'll turn up some Civil War relics, but you can't never tell. Let's see what we find. They got 40 cent stickers in Unicorn down at the store for you and me. They got 40 cent stickers in Unicorn. Lord, you know it's in Tennessee. You can ride your bike on Fogo stick and you come on down. You can look and slick. Come on down, it ain't too far. You can get your chips and candy bar. Well, there was my first good signal of the day. It's an irony signal, and that is a big piece of a cannonball from the American Civil War. That is excellent. That makes me super, super happy. Well, here's a mini ball signal. I've not really been chasing mini balls today. I'm mostly listening for iron, but I guess I'll go ahead and get this one. I got it, whatever it is. Feels like a round ball. Yep, sure is. Well, that's a good find. I'll take it. Another irony signal. I don't know what that might be. Or maybe that might be a curry comb. Yeah, I think it is a curry comb. You can see the little lines right here that we're going across. That's pretty cool. That's a horse brush. They would use that to brush out their horses. I've not seen one quite like that before, but these little ridges here indicate to me that that's what that is. So, pretty cool little find. Keep chasing this iron around, see if anything else comes out of here. Well, here's another mini ball signal. I guess I'll go ahead and chase it. I'm not hearing a lot of iron in here, so I might as well. This one's a little deeper though, so we might have to go underwater. Yep, there we have it. Mini ball from the American Civil War. Just another excellent day in the life out here getting some Civil War relics. That makes me happy. Water's cold today though. We had a little temperature drop and water's getting colder. Well, this is almost certainly a mini ball. It might even clear up enough to see it if we can get down to it. Let's see if I hear it with the pin pointer. Oh, yeah, I think I see it there. You guys see it? That's super cool. Right in here close to the shore. Well, there's my customary axe head. You almost always find an axe head every trip. That one's kind of neat with all those rocks crusted to it. There's another signal down here. I got my pinpointer on it. I'm trying to get it. There it is. Awesome. Another mini ball. They got 40 cent stickers in Unicorn down at the store for you and me. They got 40 cent stickers in Unicorn. Lord, you know it's in Tennessee. Ride your bike, roll Fogo stick, and you come on down if you're looking sick. Another one sounds like. 
somewhere right in here. Come on down to Dame Two Five and get your chips and candy bar. Another bullet. Looks like a 54. Awesome. This one's reading a little higher than those last ones. But it's right in here close to where they were, so it's worth checking. And pointers going off. Yep, there it is. That one's been made into a fishing sinker. Excellent. Little pocket knife with a bear on it. Another mini ball signal here. It's in my hand. There it is. Gardner. That's a Confederate Gardner bullet. Split into a fishing sinker. There's another one. Awesome. Also split into a fishing sinker. Sounds like a bullet. Yep, another bullet. I'm an interesting piece of iron. I almost wonder if that's not part of an old pistol, like the old pistol barrel, because I don't know. Not sure on that. Go home and clean it up. Have a closer look. Some other mini ball. I'm surrounded by a bunch of nails. Given bad signal because of those nails. But pretty sure that's a mini ball. We got forty dollar beds for the big horse race. Behind the store in the bluegrass state. We got forty dollar beds for the big horse race. What I bet on number eight. There it is. Oh. I think that's a picket bullet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's what that is. Sugar low for a picket bullet. Something like that. I'll have to look when I get home and double check that, but uh awesome. Sweet. Sick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, what a great day. Another one. Probably trash, but it's awful high and squeaky. Ooh, looks like a piece of a sabot off of a shell, an artillery shell. That's uh, part of the sabot that went 
around the base of the shell and that lead would catch the grooves of the cannon and make the shell come out rifled it's spinning that's what that is I believe is a big old lead piece of sabot awesome another mini ball Woo! excellent it's cold oh my gosh guys I think I just found a bucket list item it looks like this is a bent up piece of railroad tie from the Civil War era it's been eaten up you can see a lot of it's gone here at the end it's still there and at the other end it's still there but that is a big old piece of iron ah there's another railroad tie or another railroad bar laying right next to it oh man that is most definitely a bent piece of railroad tie though and it is from the civil war era I may try and pull that out of here with me. I don't know. There's another big section of it that's straight right here. Uh, man, how cool is that? They got 40 cent sticks in Unicorn down at the store for you and me. They got 40 cent sticks in Unicorn in Union North in Tennessee. Kind of neat. It's a bullet that's been hammered flat. You can just make out the rings there across the bottom. Pretty cool. Ride your bike, get the pogo stick, and you come on down if you're looking sick. Come on down, it ain't too far. You can get your chips and candy bars. This is kind of weird. There's a row of logs here going this way into the bank. Really weird. I don't know what that might be about. How strong my magnet is. That weighs about probably 50 pounds. Ugh. I don't know if that was a meat grinder or a transmission. It's kind of cool. It's a little infield. Looks like it's been cut off and hammered flat. Very nice. Oh, it is a mini ball. Nice. Sort of hook. And another mini ball signal right underneath of that piece of iron. That's funny. Every time I move a piece of iron, I get another mini ball signal. There it is, another mini ball. Oh, water's cold this time of day. Another mini ball. That one's been wormed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. I am getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, so I'm going to make this kind of brief, but I wanted to do a real quick wrap up and show you guys what all came out today. Ended up with 20 mini balls, uh, four round balls this piece of grape shot the hammered flat mini ball which I really like got a curry comb you can see the little grooves here running across where the uh, teeth were for that brush that was for brushing horses modern pocket knife got the uh, piece of a 12 pound Borman shell and we also got this little piece of pipe which I at first thought might have been part of a pistol barrel but I'm not too sure on that now. But at any rate, it was another great day in the life. A great day out relic hunting. Preserving some of America's history. Hope you guys had a great day in the life. See you next time.